Saturday the 9th of April 2011 and uh, here we are again at the parking spot for Golf Strokes Sierra Papa 012 Easington Fell on a lovely sunny day and hardly a cloud in the sky uh, so uh, should be a, a nice relaxing day out in the countryside uh, you see it's a little bit boggy there uh, as usual but uh, I don't think that's going to pose any problems today uh, it's been quite a, a nice week we've had a bit of rain but mostly uh, sunshine. I'm hoping to have a go at uh, 160 meter CW today uh, but I don't have an uh, antenna tuner for that band so I'll have to actually make the antenna resonant which might uh, might work, it might not. Anyway, over there is Pendle Hill and uh, say a lovely sunny day. That's a view back to where uh, we park up. Over there is the quarry that's Waddington Fell and that's slightly a couple of meters lower than the summit of Easington Fell, which is up there. Uh, so, uh, if you do arrive to do this one and you're a little confused, Easington Fell is to the east of the road. Waddington Fell with the quarry is on the western side of the road. Lovely day. Not quite as uh, boggy as last time I was up here, I don't think. So, uh, should be quite dry at the top. Ah, when you reach this style, careful study of the 1 to 25,000 wind and survey map would indicate that the edge of the activation zone is about one metre higher. So just around about there will be the edge of the activation zone for this summit. Off the top of my head I think it's 396 metres at the top so I'll take 25 off that and uh, that's where we are now. Uh, at 11.49, we're at Mike Whiskey 6, Bravo, I work at Barry, he gave me 3x3, three three. I gave him 5x3, 53, uh, he's on North Wales 31, and it's Mike Whiskey 6, Bravo, Delta Victor Portable I think it was. Ah, here we are. It's approaching the two, or the two summit. And the pile of stones is still a pile of stones. I uh, just worked Mike Whiskey 6 Bravo Delta Victor Portable on Golf Whiskey Short November Whiskey 031. <laughs> I heard his first call literally after I just finished the uh, last video where I said, and here is the edge of the activation zone. So that was very, uh, very convenient. Anyway, I have no idea how big the uh, 160 metre dipole will be, so I'm going to set up out in the open rather than over by the wall as I normally would. It's a bit uh, hazy today, can't quite see Inglebury and Penny Gent. I think I can just see Inglebury just through the haze there, but uh, yeah, a bit hazy today. That's first Nate fell over there, Waddington fell there, Longridge fell. And over that way will be Pendle Hill. It's that way, actually. Ah, I have to get my jacket off and cool down a bit. Okay, so here we are. Finally got set up. Uh, 40 minutes late for me alerted time. As uh, I discovered when I set up the 160 metre dipole that I've made the extension pieces a bit short. So anyway, I, I lengthened them. And after a bit of trimming, I've got an antenna that's resonant on 1832 kilohertz. So just to walk you from one end to the other. I've arranged it in a tripod configuration. Had a bit of an accident with the fishing pole and snapped the top thinnest bit. So, uh, although the, pole, the antenna apex is still at about 10 metres or thereabouts, it's not quite as high as, uh, as it would have been earlier. No, only by about uh, 6 or 7 inches though. Right, so this is one end. This is the uh, fully extended walking pole with two guy points. Uh, that's the end of the antenna. <laughs> There's my little cobble together joint. Uh, ripper, because I made this bit too short. Uh, as you can see, this is the my normal 80, 60, 40 link dipole. That's the link at the end of the 80 meter section. You can see that. That's the 60 meter, the end of the 60 meter section. There's the end of the 40 meter section. Obviously, if I want to change bands, 
I'm going to drop the antenna down. I brought the uh, 897 and a slab today, so I can run high power on 160, because uh, in the middle of the day, conditions aren't so good. Uh, you'll see from the top there, there's another guy wire going down over there, so there's just three guy wires from the top of the antenna, and this is the other leg of the, uh, the dipole. <sighs> Obviously, swimming and walking backwards and forwards was exercising up in itself. But, uh, it's a good day for it, that's for sure. You yeah, see that, uh, we've just passed it, that's the end of the 80 metre section. This is the extension piece for uh, to make it work on 160. And there uh, is the far end of the antenna. With again, fully extended walking pole and uh, gar wires. The gar lines. Obviously, some uh, very short pointy summits you'll have great difficulty setting up an antenna this size but uh, as I said I think on one of my previous activations of this fell plenty of room up here for uh, for this sort of antenna right let's uh, see if it works and see if I can remember uh, any CW oh dear same through for now <laughs> middle of the day it's a bad time for top band uh, I've just had two contacts managed to get through to Frank, G3RMD in Cheltenham uh, I sent him 599 because there was a cracking signal here he gave me 539 which I'll, it'll do for me and then I got a call from Roy, uh, G4SSH uh, and he gave me 559 and I also gave him 559 uh, running the 897 at 100 watts uh, I don't think that battery was fully charged to start with uh, so quickly I'm running, running it down uh, but uh, the antenna does seem to be working despite the fact that it's the middle of the day be interesting to see how well the uh, the other antennas work. You know, the 80 metre dipole and the 60 metre dipole, possibly 40 metre dipole. How they work, given that they're uh, quite a bit higher than they normally would be. But at least I know I can get a, a resonant uh, top band dipole on on the summit. Although it did take me uh, quite a while to set up. More soon. All right, 1423 GMT. Just uh, had a few QSOs on five megs. Uh, only managed two on CW on 160, but for the middle of the day, uh, I don't think that's good, that's too bad. I'm running at 100 watts uh, using the slab, which is now, I think, uh, not completely discharged, but I've disconnected that now and just on the internal batteries, the uh, FT897. Uh, I have found that this way of guying the antenna actually is, uh, seems to be a lot quicker and easier than the previous method that I've used so I might well use this method in future the only reason I, I was using this triangular a tripod sort of arrangement was simply due to the length of the pole uh, normally I'd have the pole guided about well, some, something like that height uh, but obviously this seems to work uh, a lot better a uh, lovely sunny day it's uh, obviously not as sunny as it was early but uh, quite warm it's been very pleasant I'm just about to see if I can find a space on 40 metres to call CQ. That's, uh, that's Lotz DL3 SBA Portable on Delta Mike North Slope November Whiskey 247. I uh, just managed to break through the pile up with the magic word Summit to Summit. Uh, some big, uh, big powerful stations there working at the moment. Good signals on 40 today. Uh, it's using obviously the uh, just this 40 metre sections of the, the dipole. Uh, obviously, it's clouded over a bit from earlier, but uh, it's been a fun day. 1620 GMT. Make sure I've not left anything. And uh, that's it. Packed up, ready to go. I love it. Eh?